I had my circuit breaker trip. I plug in my dust collector right there. Didn't come on. Kind of strange. So, when you have a circuit breaker trip, first you should check the circuit breaker. I made it very easy in my shop to know circuit breaker trips, which one it is. B2, C11, that is box two, circuit breaker 11. That is box two. That is circuit 11, that is circuit 11. I'd already flipped it off, and I already cut it back on now because I fixed the problem, I'm just walking through it. But basically, when the circuit breaker trips, this will still be in the on position, but you have the orange indicator right there, lets you know it tripped. So you should cut it off once it's tripped until you figure out what went wrong. Anytime you're messing with electrical, anything, appliances, outlets, you should always make sure the circuit breaker is off. The circuit breaker is definitely off. I've double checked it. And so I start looking, I pull this out and see what's happened. And I immediately see an indicator. See that scorch mark? Not good. Now look at that. You look at this ground screw. That thing is sticking out kind of proud. Look at that. Let's see if I can see. See, it's sticking out kind of proud. So my guess is somehow, because this thing was a little wiggly before, I, mean, I guess just it worked loose. I mean, I installed all this electrical stuff. So I know, I know the breakers are correct. I know the markings are correct. So I labeled everything. I know everything is done correctly so but that ground screw I have it grounded to the box instead of the screw and I guess since that screw is a little bit proud and things a little wiggly it must have just contacted the side of the box shorted itself out certainly seems to be the case I'm going to put that screw in button everything back up and I'm be willing to bet you that was the issue so everything is back together now to flip the circuit breaker back to the on position many ways to see if it is fixed this light is the easiest way. Light is on. That means it works. When the circuit trips, you get no power here because you know it shorts out. It's a safeguard. It is a good safeguard. You don't want to circumvent that. So this is fixed. I don't know what happened. And this thing had gotten just a little bit loose. I know when uh, it tripped, I know this thing was a little bit wobbly and kind of made me suspect that might be the issue. And it's probably just plugging things in and out. Just, I don't know, works things loose. I don't know. But this is where I plug and unplug my dust collector into and you know, pretty important to have, so I needed to go ahead and fix that. Circuit, done. The circuit is fixed. My dust collector works yet again. Just kind of a weird thing. I mean, obviously the ground screw, when I installed that receptacle, I should have made sure the ground screw was screwed all the way in instead of hanging out like that. That combined with that receptacle just got loose. Just over time, it worked its way loose. When I installed it, obviously it was tight. Well, that loose, it gave it enough leeway to wiggle and for the ground screw to contact the side of the box which shorted out of course the ground screw complete the circuit that makes sense my circuit breaker protected me and tripped the breaker because you know it could be something much worse to where it's not just a momentary short it could be worse much worse well that's repetitive isn't it so that's fixed it's solved always have a health for your electricity whenever you're working on electrical make sure the breaker is off now with this i know what breaker this is on i labeled it i installed it but if you're unsure Cut the breaker off, have a test light. If you don't have a test light, get a lamp, get something to plug into it to make sure power is actually off because you don't want to make, you don't want to work with live electricity. I guess I need to say, call your electrician. That's a standard uh, liability claim here that, oh, don't do it yourself, call an electrician. So you should call your electrician. I'm just letting you, giving you an educational reference here. As you watch your electrician work, you know what he's doing.